People always ask me to see Stoicism in action. How do you put Stoicism in action? What is an example or a case where someone has used Stoicism in their life? And recently I had quite a interesting encounter with someone who tried to mug me. It was quite uh, an interesting experience, but it changed my life in the positive and it made me realize one of the most powerful things I've learned in the past 10 years that I didn't know that my life had been shaped this way from stoicism. And I see it as quite a great experience, this guy trying to mug me. And the way this guy tried to mug me, the impact it had on me was actually, the lesson I took from it is quite surprising. The stoic principles I learned from it is very surprising. It's not what you think it is about being strong, being tough, um, it's, it's none of this. It was quite an interesting take that may surprise you. So I'm walking home late at night um, and I've just got music playing in my headphones. I'm listening to music. Going up this hill and um, this used to happen quite a lot. It hasn't happened much recently uh, since practicing stoicism. And um, in the past, someone would come up to me, uh, attempt to mug me, say some things and I would get quite nervous. I would, I would get um, a bit shaken up and I'd be uncomfortable. Then when I get home, I'd be overthinking it, worrying about it. And then eventually I got to a point where I'd be walking home. I'd see a group of guys in the distance. Maybe I'd start getting a bit anxious, worried about this. Oh, are they going to attack me? Are they going to rob me? And uh, this was just life as, as a young man. And I grew up like this. And this also had a huge impact on my life where I would be in a constant state of anxiety, not just for these sort of situations, for events coming up, situations coming up, uh, worrying and having anxious dependence on the future, but also worrying about the past, having anxious feelings about the past and rumination on the past. So this is kind of a feeling that plagued me for much of my younger life. And anyway, I've been practicing stoicism for about 10 years now. I'm walking home at night, I'm listening to the Rolling Stones and I'm enjoying the music and some guy starts saying something. I'm not really sure of what he's saying and he keeps saying it to me and I assumed he was trying to buy from me. So I said, oh, sorry, I don't have anything. I haven't got anything um, because I don't sell anything. And I'm trying to carry on walking and he keeps saying stuff. He's looking at me. So he's saying stuff, getting louder. So I stop the music and carry on walking now. And I realized as I'm basically past him that he was trying to mug me. And I decided, eh, it didn't really look like a threat, whatever, it's just some guy. So I carried on walking. He didn't seem to have a weapon or anything, so he's not really much of a threat. And I carried on walking. And as I'm walking, this is when I have the realization, this stoic realization, how stoicism has changed my life so profoundly. I'm thinking to myself, wow. Am I fearless? Because I couldn't think, I couldn't feel the feeling of fear. This anxiety, this horrible dread that you have, I couldn't feel it. And I kept trying to think like, why can't I feel this feeling? Someone tried to rob me and I can't feel this feeling. And the reason I was thinking that way is because like most people, I was always in a constant state of this dread and this anxiety. I'd be laying in bed worrying about tomorrow, worrying about things that might happen or might not happen. And I always had this feeling of dread, this feeling of fear. But I didn't realize over my time um, with stoicism, this feeling had gone and there's a reason why it had gone. But the reason, the way I worked out that I still had fear is I thought to myself, if there was a bear right in front of me about to kill me, I would feel fear, probably. I don't know, I've never been in that situation. But I would feel the fear. So I said, okay, I can feel fear. Um, so what is it? And I realized that it was, I only feared things that are a prominent and present threat. That is something that I should be fear. Because that is fear, why fear is there. It's a safety mechanism. So we increase our adrenaline, we can run or fight. So if that guy, was with a group of guys or they had weapons then that fear is needed that extra adrenaline is needed to either run or to fight back i would have needed that 
But you don't need that feeling. You do not need your heart pounding when you're laying in bed, worrying about a test tomorrow, worrying about um, a social event, worrying about maybe someone might mug you. You do not need that. So it's this understanding, as the Stoics taught, of the dichotomy of control, that some things are within your control and some things are not. Within your control, as Epictetus said, are your motivation, opinion, your desire, your aversion, and in a word, whatever is of your own doing. Not within your control is your office, reputation, health, wealth, and in a word, whatever is not of your own doing. When you understand this dichotomy of control, that you don't have control over these things, then you can start to let them go. And over the 10 years of practicing Stoicism, I guess I'd let go of all these things outside of my control and started to focus on what's within my control. And then the other principle is that only the present exists. The past does not exist. It's the idea of this Momentum Mori calendar is that all that black doesn't exist. It's the past. Every little black square that's ever been filled in every week is the past. That's my life gone. And the white is the future. That doesn't exist. It hasn't happened. It might not happen. I could die tomorrow. The only thing that exists is that present white square or even just a fraction of that little white square. That is all that we are in right now. And that's all that you should really fear is if a real threat comes to you, then you should feel that fear. But if not, it should let go. And it sounds very simple in theory. And if someone told me this 10 years ago, I would have gone, oh yeah, whatever. Um, I can't just remove fear by understanding this. No, maybe with some people it does work like that, but it has worked like that with me. Over these years of practicing stoicism, understanding uh, this idea of this calendar, of Memento Mori, um, understanding the dichotomy of troll, understanding what I can control, what I can't control, and understanding that all we have is the present moment, these feelings over time started to disappear. And I truly believe that if it's worked for me, and I was a person that was worrying about everything, anxious about everything, scared of everything, I was in that constant state of my heart pounding, feeling sick, unable to sleep, worrying about tomorrow, worrying about yesterday, worrying about what's gonna happen in a year, and made up situations that would never happen. And if it can happen, if I can change this much to get to a point where I thought I was fearless, which is a ridiculous thought, but it was quite, a, it took me by surprise, this um, contemplation of fear. Um, if I can do it, then I truly believe 99% of people can have the same um, effects that I've had, the same journey that I've had, maybe in a faster time, maybe in a longer time, but there is no point not taking that journey just because you believe, oh, tomorrow it won't help me. It might help you a little bit, then in a week it will help you more, in a year it will help you more, and then in 10 years it will help you a lot more. But if you don't start that journey, then you're gonna go nowhere, or you might actually digress and go backwards, get worse and worse and worse. Because looking at these things in the wrong way becomes a habit. If you keep focusing on things that you can't control, you keep worrying about the past and the future, you, it becomes a habit to you, it becomes habitual, it becomes an easy thing to do, and a bad thing to do, it's a bad habit to pick up, where you start to pick up these good habits of stoicism. So, that is the story of how someone who tried to mug me recently was greatly impacted and shaped my life, and is the reason for this video, so thank you for that guy. Um, I wonder if you're watching, probably not. I don't suppose people that watch videos are going out mugging people on the streets. Um, these videos, um, but who knows, they might do. So thank you for watching. I just want to say a massive thank you on Instagram. We've reached 500,000 followers. It's a huge community and it's active followers. Like there's so many comments, thousands of comments. I'm getting, some days I'm getting hundreds of messages and I do try to reply to every single one. So if I don't reply to your message, um, I will reply to it at some point. It takes so long, but recently, um, I got over 200 messages in one day. Um, I did do a prompt that said, message me this if you want this. And I was expecting like 20 people, got over 200. So it took me ages to reply to everyone. Um, but hopefully you all got a worthwhile response. And because we've reached 500,000 followers, there is a huge sale on the store, up to 50% on the shirts, the Animal Fatty t-shirt, the Memento Mori shirt, personally for me, I think this right here will change your life. I wish I had something like this sooner. I've always understood Memento Mori, but I wish I had a, such a visceral image of your time being um, finite, of your mortality presented like this. It's such a powerful tool. tool. It's changed my life so drastically in the time I've been using it.
of course, I haven't been using it for 27 years. Um, I didn't start one as a kid, but I wish I started sooner. It's changed my life so hugely. It comes with the uh, wooden frames, which are magnetically clipped together onto a nice card. And it comes with the leather strap. So you can literally pull it out of the tube, unwrap it, click it together, hang it up straight away, ready to go, fill it in. And I'm just gonna go from personal experience. It's changed my life drastically. And from friends and family that have used it, they say it's changed their life in a huge way. And often people will look at it and go, that's a bit morbid, what's that, that's weird. Uh, everyone always asks questions what it is, which is kind of cool. Um, and then when you explain it, why it's not morbid, why it's so profound, why it's so impactful, then they go, oh, I'd like to try it. And then they try it and they're like, wow, thank you. Uh, so code 500 on the store for the discount. Okay, um, okay. Um, so if you, if you made it this far into the video, I do this with every video. Uh, I'll play this little game that I find quite fun and enjoyable. This one's a bit different. I'm not asking for a simple comment. Um, and like I said, when I first did this, it was 0.1% or 1% of people that watched the video would make it to the end. Uh, so that many people paid attention. It has been rising. I'm not, I haven't, I don't know why I haven't looked at the analytics yet. But if you made it this far into the video, I would like to hear how stoicism has helped you. Um, and if you can't think of how stoicism has helped you, um, let me know how you want stoicism to help you, what you hope to get from stoicism, and I'll answer, I'll try to give you some advice, point you in the right direction, maybe on some literature to read. But I would like to hear your own personal stories. I think it would be very interesting to have personal anecdotes, personal stories on how stoicism has helped people from all around the world. Maybe I'll read them and decide to make a little video on stoicism in action, because that is what this is all about. It, it's very well learning about the history, and learning about the words, the fancy words like eudaimonia, sympathe, memento mori, amor fati, learning of the people, Zeno, Aurelius, Seneca, Masonius, um, Rufus, all these people. It's very interesting learning about that. But the practical sense, the practical aspect of Stoicism is what I want to teach, and that is what will really help people. You don't need to know all this knowledge to be Stoic. You don't need to know any of this to live the life of the Stoics to get the benefits from stoicism. I just like delivering it. I think it can help people. But to truly benefit from stoicism, it is from the practical. It's when you incorporate it into your life. So I'd love to hear your stories. Um, so comment them below. And thank you for watching.